Hey there, in this video I'm going to show um, the behavior of uh, a screen reader after I have added the aria role attribute. Uh, so real quick, here's the code. I have a few divs and they have some styling to indicate, you know, to cited users what the what the meaning of, of each div is. And uh, in this example, I have now added the, the role attribute, uh, which will help screen readers understand uh, the semantic meaning of, of each element. So let me open up that full screen. And OK, here we go. So uh, let me turn on TalkBack by pressing both volume buttons. TalkBack on. Chrome. Oh, this is a heading. Heading two. And so, uh, you know, as you might have just heard, uh, TalkBack announces this div as a heading uh, because I'm using that role. So let me swipe to the right a couple times to get to the next heading. This is some content. This is another heading. Heading two. And again, TalkBack has announced it as a heading. I'm going to swipe right again to get to the button. Click me. Button. Double tap to activate. And again, TalkBack has announced it as a button. I can also uh, use the um, navigate by heading feature. So I think I already have that enabled. Let me try that. This is another heading. Heading two. So I am swiping up and down to, to navigate by heading. So let me swipe up one more time. This is a heading. Heading two. And swipe down. This is another heading. Heading two. And, you know, this is just a simple example with, with only two headings, but imagine a more complex page with a bunch of headings that I want to, you know, scan through as a, as a screen reader users. And um, that is now feasible because I have used the, the role attribute to, to tell the screen reader that these are, in fact, headings. Um, so that's why uh, either using semantic HTML or providing these ARIA roles are, are important. Uh, all right, thanks for watching.